Good morning. Welcome back at 644 on Michigan This Morning. Chosen for texture, strength, and beauty, the natural woods used at G3 Studios are selected with purpose. The woodworking business in Interlock and crafts functional wood art for a variety of uses. And we're checking back in with Jenny and Stephanie live in Interlock in this morning. And Jenny, that is really cool. Isn't that awesome? We, we keep laughing because a couple of weeks ago we were actually hanging out at Ruth Ann's Bakery and uh, very similar to a cookie that we had there. Uh, we're, we're not eating these this morning, but we're showing you how Greg actually crafts these at G3 Studios. Greg, this technology right here, we've been calling it the laser. Can you show us how this works? Yes. So we're going from the computer to here? Yep, it's a laser and it uses concentrated energy to either burn or cut the wood. And what okay. we do is we start with the graphics. We develop any kind of graphics you want. Anything you can put on paper, we can either burn or cut into wood. Beautiful. And we've got this all set up right now. And just to start the process. And you just press and start. it's doing an engraving right now. And awesome. what it does is it moves back and forth as, as a uh, engraving. It works like a, a roster or inkjet printer. But when it's, when it's cutting, it actually works like a vector. It does the trace. We've already got this part cut out, so we're just showing you the engrave process right now. That's beautiful, and I have to say, what a lovely logo that is, too. Great choice this morning, Greg. Of course. Now, starting off for you, you were actually in the automotive industry before getting your hands kind of deep into the woodworking process. Can you tell us your story, how you got into this? Yes, I did a lot of tool and die when I was in high school and okay. college, which led me into the automotive engineering field. And I loved the engineering, but just got tired of the corporate world. Mm -hmm. Started doing woodworking for fun, and spun it off into a business, and here we are 15 later having a blast. And did you anticipate, I mean, I, I would think that maybe a machine like this using lasers, that it was actually something that would work on cars. Did, did you think that you would use this in the woodworking? Uh, at the time when I got into, into the industry or, or into the woodworking, you know, these types of machines were not available in a price range that would fit our, you know, our field. Okay. But we started out with a CNC machine, which does computer cutting and control uh, shapes. And that was something that we did start with. And then just a few years ago, we just bought the laser. So at this point, this still looks a little different from this, or is that done? No, it's uh, this is done. Um, yeah, this is done. And basically what you're seeing on here is the resins from the wood when, during the burn process. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll just sand this down lightly. Beautiful. Hot off the press. Guys, we're, uh, we're about to switch over to Fox 32, but we're going to show you more actually just over here on the CNC machine in about a half hour. So stick around. We have more coming up at G3 Studios. Later. I want one. I can't believe how quick that happened. Yeah. You know, I guess it looks so intricate that you think it'd take a little more time. No, it doesn't burn this into with the machine there. That's how it works.